In this video, I'll explain how to add a prefix to the column names of a data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains four rows and three columns. And these columns have the column names x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to add a prefix to these column names. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines seven and eight. So first in line seven of the code, I'm duplicating our data because I want to keep an original version of the data. So if you run line seven of the code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values and exactly the same column names as our input data frame. In the next line of code in line eight, I'm applying the call names function to our new data frame. And to this, I'm assigning the output of the paste function in combination with the call names function. So within the paste function, I'm specifying that I want to add the prefix foo underline. And then I also want to add the column names of our original data set as column names. So if you run line eight of the code, our data frame is updated and we can see that by printing the data frame to the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our new version of our data frame is printed to the RStudio console. And as you can see, the data frame that we have created contains exactly the same values as our original data. However, this time we have added the prefix foo to each of the column names of our data frame. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to add a prefix to the column names of a data frame using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.